Do you welcome this horsepipe ban? Do you think it's the right measure to, to conserve water at this time? No, I do not welcome bans. I want them to put in enough capacity so they can meet the legitimate demands of their consumers. But if they judge that we won't get through uh, this summer and next winter without a hosepipe ban, they should get on with it immediately to make sure we don't run out. They have to make that decision. They know the normal patterns of demand and they know how much water they've got left. I've been one of those MPs urging them for several years to put in more capacity. We've been building all these houses and welcoming hundreds of thousands of new people into the southeast and we haven't been putting in the extra capacity you obviously need if you welcome a lot more people into a lot of no new homes. John Redwood, if we accept that climate change and uh, the world getting hotter and all the rest of it, we, we accept that this summer will not be a unique one-off test subject. In that case, John Redwood, do we have to learn to live with this? And that means we also have to ensure that the water supply diminished as it is right now, is, is kept constant. How do we actually manage the effects of climate change? Well, you put in capacity. I mean, if, if you really think it's going to get hotter and we're going to have less rain, and we, um, we're obviously having a period without a lot of rain at the moment. We, we had a very big one in 1976 when we did run out of water and had to put in standpipes. Uh, in order to stop that kind of thing, the answer is terribly easy. You put in more capacity. And the great news is that there's loads of water all around the globe. Uh, the globe is more water than anything else with all the oceans. And some of that water is picked up, forms clouds, and is dropped as rain. We've got to collect more of it, clean more of it, make sure it is available for supply. But you can't destroy water. It goes through a water cycle. It's the ultimate renewable it just requires the regulators and the industry to get their act together to have enough of it on standby for when you don't have much rain. So in the interim, then, whilst the uh, water companies get on with doing that, hopefully, we, we'd all, I uh, think, agree with that uh, sentiment. What do you actually think about the, the encouragement by some water companies to encourage their, their customers to snitch on those who defy the ban? Well, they will have their own views of what they should say to their customers. I'm not here to give them advice on how to manage their customer accounts or what messages to send out. I do want the water companies to concentrate on doing their jobs, which is to have enough clean water available and to stop tipping sewage into our rivers, two very essential things that you would have thought the regulator by now would be on top of. Uh, and when it comes to making those crucial judgments about whether we need to rein in our water consumption already and not use hoses, uh, we need some factual information from them about what their stocks are like and what they think is going to happen next. And it would be a good idea, if they really are worried, to put the hose pipes ba bands on as quickly as possible. So, John, you won't be giving the Jaguar a hose down anytime soon then, I assume? Ah, I... I'm no, not in an area which has banned hose pipes ah. yet, and I will make my own judgment about what is appropriate to do. But I don't waste water. It is, after all, all metered. Yes, absolutely. I'm wondering then, is this sort of thing going to become more common? Because the, the water companies don't seem to be acting fast enough. As you say, you're calling for, for action there, robust action to ensure the, the supply of water and to clean this the stuff and get it out there a lot faster than they are right now. Do you see this becoming more regular, that the horsepipe bans just become something that we experience in this country and get used to? Well, they only need to. I mean, we, we, we're told that Thames Water can't make available its desalination plant at the moment. Well, why not? We've got a dry patch in this summer. Surely that's what they put in all that capital investment to a desalination plant. Uh, in order to protect them against it. And, and London is one of the very uh, drought-ridden parts of the country with a very big population. It'd be really good if they could just turn on their desalination plant. Uh, and I'm very happy to support, in a suitable location in the southeast, a new reservoir. We've been talking about that for years, but still no sign of it. 